All right, guys, a bit of a different video today. Uh, today we're working on this uh, 73 F100. And uh, this would usually come with points, but it's on an 82 chassis. So we have the Ford DuraSpark um, electronic ignition system. And I'm gonna be replacing it with this Mallory uh, 695. It's really nice. Uh, I think it works for four six and eight cylinders you can set your cylinders here um rev limiter but i'm gonna show you guys how to hook it up wired in a day uh, remove this old ford system as you can see mine is melting out i'm surprised it's been running for so long but i'm gonna get rid of that and put this nice box in today all right now we need to uh, make sure everything's set up right so for this setup the way I'm doing it, we're not going to be using any of these, uh, the blue, blue, white, or white wires, because this is for a two-step, uh, if you want to put something like that in your vehicle, but here's how you set the, uh, rev limiter, if you buy a new one, it comes with these little screwdrivers, and these little rubber things, which you'll want to install, uh, to help stop vibrations from the motor, Make sure box lasts a long time. And since this is a V8, you're gonna turn it all the way to eight, all the way down to the right. It won't, doesn't really want to focus. And then uh, it, I think it goes all the way up to 9,000 RPMs or 9,900. So you can set that by thousand right here, which I'm gonna set mine at five. Probably go about 5,300 on this truck. Uh, it's not a high revving motor, it's a Scott 351 uh, modified in it, so. And then you want to make sure you find a good place to mount it. Me, I'm going to go here on my uh, passion, our driver's side fender well, right behind this uh, stuff for my windshield uh, washer fluid. I've drilled my holes. You want to make sure you keep it away from anything too hot. You don't want it getting hot. So over here, it should be cool enough away from the motor. Uh, my other one was there and these little rubber things will keep it cool on the bottom and uh, stop vibrations and All right guys, I got all bolted down everything uh, I bought this new so it's really nice. It came with um this Phillips head screws uh, I also came with little nuts and locking washers which I used on the back and uh, if you buy it new comes with all these extra connectors um, these ones for splicing into stuff just extra connectors uh, for the GM vehicles comes with this little thing that you can put in your uh, distributor a little grommet um, but since I won't be using any of this stuff for the two-step at least I don't believe I've just coiled it up and taped up all the ends I'm just gonna put it off to the side um, I mean, I never know if I'll use it, so I, I left it all there. I didn't want to cut it all up. And I also uh, plugged in this, which came with the kit. These little two plugs, which then I'm going to plug into the coil wire, or distributor. These two go to the distributor, which I'm going to get to next. Okay, I thought this might be important, but uh, I pulled my little thing off my coil that holds these wires on, and... You can save this little plastic piece if you want, uh, but the trick is when you go in here, there's a little plastic clip that you can get to with your screwdriver and push it down and then you can slide your wires out and everything that way you don't go and break anything or you don't have to cut any wires if you want to save the stuff. Uh, just in case you want to go back to stock or some issue happens. Alright, now uh, I will be using my stock harness. I have redone it. Now as you see, I only have two wires. Just the purple and yellow. Uh, it's really supposed to be purple and orange on the factory one. It's going to find orange. And I taped off the other stuff. The third wire going distributor would be a black one, which is a ground. And now um, we're going to plug these, uh, the purple and green wire into the system. All right, now I got it hooked up. I'll probably put some tape on here, but right now I'm just trying, I'm just gonna 
hook everything up real quick just to test make sure everything's working so the green one will go to your violet wire which i would have if it was me i would have put purple with the violet uh and your uh, violet on this one goes to orange so you can see the instructions so it's a little confusing i want to get those mixed up even though you would think uh the purple one stays with purple it uh it does not so get this hooked up and now i'm going to run my 12 volts uh, all the way to my battery over there all right guys i've got everything finally hooked up got my power wire run to hot side of the solenoid right here star solenoid i got um these wires in these casing so i got the orange hooked to the positive side of my coil and the black to the negative i got this stuff hooked up to my distributor and then i got my 12 volt on wire hooked to power 12 volt right here which i'm going to go back and redo this stuff later reroute all the wiring i'm just hooking all this up right now just to make sure it starts and everything see if it starts make sure i've hooked up everything right in this gray right here this gray right wire is just for a tachometer my truck doesn't have one i'm probably going to add an aftermarket one later but right now i'm going to get battery in and we'll see what happens all right guys got everything hooked up it runs great make sure you plug these wires in correctly i was messing around for a while couldn't get to run i uh, plugged them in wrong i will be rerunning all these wires and stuff as you can see they're kind of just looped everywhere but i got it all hooked up uh, it runs i'll try and crank it up real quick for you guys i think there's a small vacuum leak that it has i'll figure it'll crank up if the battery's battery's going out so it may not want to crank but when it does it fires right up All right, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more work on this truck. This is, I've re never really done much on it, but just let me know, and hopefully your install goes well.